Hello people, so welcome to this video of Super Dragon Ball Heroes covering Big Bad Mission Chapter 5. And obviously the arc has been great so far in the manga. So let's hope it continues doing live reaction and review. Let's go. So after the chapter, hey, wh why don't you patch up the space time one more time? I told you it's impossible. Tony's key is already got to... Oh, so put it up. Wow. So we started off with Putin and Salsa. And then Salsa says, then why didn't you connect the space-time that Toa expanded back then? Putin's facial expression in response is pretty hilarious and cute at the same time. You're too stingy if you keep nagging at me like that. Maybe it'd be better to let Genius Kun do it himself. Hey Genius Kun, is this at least even a at least even a thick-headed fool like you can feel it? His presence is no mistake in it. So obviously Magic Abora being felt with him few now because obviously he's a dark king. You were in the memory of histories. There is no no need to know I am you, and you are me. If you want this power, then the universe will be ours. Now, lend me your body to go... Oh, this is actually an interesting tidbit. Sorry, not interested. But this power is a different story. Allow me to indulge in it to my heart's content. Don't get in our way. So, Mira... This is interesting. So, Mira's about to attack Vegito. So obviously Vegito kicks Mira. Who are you if you wanted to stop me then that level of strength ain't gonna cut it. Even stopping you for a moment is enough. So Mira tries to fight another barrier. Now awaken dearly. Vegito shatters the barrier with his knee and Dark King Few is born. What an ominous key is surrounding him. What's more there's something about him that's really changed. Toa-san, should I call you mother instead? Well, my lord dark king hey stop that for a long time i was lost the meaning of for why i was born what were my roots that's why i tell her mother i have to thank you for creating me however i apologize i've got no interest in the position of a, of a king although i want to thank you for allowing me to use this power now shall we begin again Ugh, wow okay damn it suddenly became much harder to breathe we need to find a way to get out out of here fast i don't have any power i'm also on the limit so even trunks is like fading fast whatever tower did is a lot more extreme than what she did in the anime time magic out so trunks falls down vegeta falls down so everybody's like falling out of portals okay so more, more portals has been cast so time magic out so oh wait oh, okay not good i made a hole in the universe tree what marvellous energy, but it's hard to control it. At first I need to catch it here. Oh, what the hell is that thing? So, what a wonderful power. It's still developing, even, but even so, he's able to release this artifact to act his power much more than Mechagabura did. This is possible thanks to fused genetic com encompassing several warriors. You're truly a fast warrior. Then how about this? So, infinite time slash. So, Few is coming up with some interesting techniques, I will say that. Vegito just demolishes it, so that's pretty cool. I will commend you, I can't get rid of you, even though I wield this power. The fights become troublesome. I can't afford to get in a few hits of my own. So even Vegito is having trouble. So Toa is like stepping in to like imprison Vegito. Dark King, Lord Dark King, please carry on with your plan as you see fit. You're going to flatter me if you keep talking like that. But after using this power, I know what must be done. If I provide the dark factor energy as nutrients for the human tree, I can complete the big bang mission. Hey, now you plan on keep track with this technique? So, uh, Vegito is pretty ragged out. I won't let you interfere anymore. And then here comes Super Saiyan 4, Vegito. Time Patrol, how did you escape the time chasm? I pulled them out there. I see, they were moving secretly from the shadow. So, yeah, there we go. So Demigra, Ribeiro and Shamal, more of them again. Lord Demigra, it seems we're a bit tad late. Yeah. A new king has been created. Demigra has this look like he's concerned, but at the same time he doesn't care. So it's in, that's interesting. The Dark Empire army is being resurrected. The Dark Demon Realm is at Mejigabora. Seal being broken. You could say that, but it's not it. The energy of the Dark Factor is certainly the source of the Dark King's own power. It's just that Mechigabora, as the retainer, didn't have enough of its life force filled in yet. Found a new retainer to latch onto, and a new Dark King has been 
brought forth. My investigation led me to believe that that is the aim of Tower to obstruct her. I passed on information to those who have been released. Oh, those who have been released from Mechigabora and they acted accordingly, but it didn't seem to go as I expected. They have failed me. So, wow. Okay. So, besides the power of the Dark King is grave as a grave threat. We need you as much as you need us. So, there's more interaction here between the Time Patrol and Demigra. We will continue to work together from here on out. You stay here and look over Pan, Chan and the others. This explains why they're fused. Oh, so, okay. I see you're the ones who informed South. That's right, it was a... We're already getting Ribera versus Toa. And Toa's dodging and Ribera's attacking with, with a wand. Toa's dodging like a boss. And then Mira is attacking Demigra. But Shamel blocks him. Wow. Like, what the hell are these big ass hands? So he's creating hands apparently to block, to shield himself. And Vegito in Super Saiyan 4 goes limit break. Not a surprise there. That's pretty cool though, I will say. The art oh, again, superb. He surprised me just now. This is the power beyond limits that Dr. W mentioned. So few teleports behind Vegito. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Comes in with the attack, but Vegito counters with his own. Few blocks it. So the attack of Vegito is burning few. Seems like it's better for me to fight at this distance with this form. So he's so he's trying to create space here and using those hands. He's creating portals and shooting hands from them to attack that. So it's a long range distance attack. That's pretty cool. But Vegito actually kicks back one of the hands and then. There's another portal that opens behind it. This, remi this reminds me of Janemba's ability. And then another hand comes up from behind because a portal opens up behind Vegito. And grabs a hold of Vegito in Super Saiyan 4. And there's the other one coming from behind too. So the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is coming in to attack Few. Few blocks. Yeah, this, this is on a different level from the anime. It looks like that Fusion will wear off if he doesn't preserve his power. If that's the case, so he's actually at attacking Vegito's wrist. It looks like, oh, what the hell is this? It's, so he's increasing the weight of his, he's increasing the weight so he, his arms can't move. It's heavy, isn't it? They're compressed energy gauntlets. Wow. That, wow, okay. Fuse obviously powering the universal tree. There we go. It lives again. Rise and shine, universe tree. Let's resume the experiment. Vegito busts out of the hand that was grabbing him. Like how I'm going to let you do that. And out of nowhere, it comes Super Saiyan 4, Broly. So that's the chapter. And I have to say, easily the best chapter of the arc thus far. It was a step above. So impactful. It's so much detail. This is like, it's not as good as chapter 15 in the Dark Demon Realm mission. But this is a close second. Like, we got so much. It's information that it puts the anime to shame and i hate to say that because i really enjoyed the big bad mission in the anime i really did but boy if they went in this direction i can only imagine let's start off at the top so apparently putin and salsa were communicating with demigra and ribera so ribera was the one that told salsa about toa apparently which is which makes sense of why they were trying to track her down do they know what toa's in intentions are because she she was in internal mon monologue in a couple of chapters ago like oh fuse my only fuse my only goal to make him the dark king few obviously that's that was a plan but she she had like there's there's like an internal conflict because she, she wanted nothing to do with poutine and salsa and but it was Roberto and demigra that recruited them on top of that we know demigra just set hearts free and we know that where that's going to lead to this is a this is a huge development that did not happen in the anime put the moment the opening page the opening panel where we got the conversation between putin and salsa and even though it seemed like a gag again it seemed like there's conflict between both because putin addresses toa as nisa salsa asks, hey why didn't you connect the space time that toa expanded back on back then. Poutine kind of like brushes it off like yo yo you're too stingy like a convenient gag but if you look at it I'm looking at the wait 
if she if she wanted to help out the time patrol why didn't she do that and i again i think there's differences of opinion salsa is a worshiper to mechikobora apparently but it, it, he's like he's going against few but potin i said this before potin thinks of toa as an older sister if you, you read the bios, that's what it looks, comes across. So, again, I like that. It's attention to detail. Era attacking Demi Gras, following Toa and Ribera starting their fight, made sense. Here, Mira charges for Demi Gras and gets blocked by Shamel. So we get a fight between Mira and Shamel. Both Vegito's and Dark King few. This was on a whole level level compared to the when you compare it to the anime. Like... Super Saiyan 4 Vegito in Limit Break. We knew he was going to go up against Few and appear. Got to, again, I have to elaborate. The art in this arc, and the art in Super Dragon Ball Heroes is, is phenomenal. Like, it j just seems to get better and better. The art, when it comes to Vegito, it's like Super Saiyan 4 Vegito in certain instances looked amazing. Vegito Blue looked completely ragged out before his arms got heavier. Super Saiyan 4, Vegito in Limit Break, busted out of the hands to actually a charge at few, only to be blocked by Broly to end the chapter. But there's a couple of things to me that are just as important. Obviously, the expansion on Demi Grant and Ribeiro's involvement. The fact that Ribeiro, and I think it was cool that Shamel was the one that released the Time Patrol from the Time Chasm that Toa locked them in. For If it wasn't Demi Grant, Ribeiro, and Shamel, they would have been stuck there. One of those things I appreciate is detail and exposition. So Demi Gras confronting Trunks with this alliance makes a whole lot of sense. By the way, again, I, I like the, the personality, the interactions between the Time Patrol. More specifically, Vegeta and, and Ribeiro. And obviously I love this chapter because we get the start of the Toa versus Ribeiro fight. Now, I like this change for... I hope we get more of this. But the fact that they started this fight and didn't resolve this, and it's still going on, it looks like. And we know Toa, Toa and Baru have different modes, so it's going to continue. This is why I do live reactions to chapters like this. I want to get information like this and content like this. Again, it's one of those situations where it feels completely new. Now, the whole thing with you, this kind of like added more to his character. The whole conversation he had with Mechikabora, like the dark factor, is going to give up his body so the Dark Factor could take over him as the Dark King. And I like how we got that in, incorporated with in, with a monologue between Mechigabora and Few. Few says, I'm not interested in you, I'm not interested in that, but I am interested in the power. So that was pretty cool. I also like how Toa tried to restrain Vegito. The way that Few and Toa's interaction came off in this chapter was completely different than what we got in the anime. And I said this not since since we got the return of Toa in chapter two of this arc. I said that the interactions between the two come off more respectable than what we got in the anime. Case in point, Fury didn't say get the hell out of here. It Fury in the anime said after becoming the Dark King said Toa get the hell out of it. Didn't even address didn't even acknowledge Toa. But in here Few acknowledges Toa and actually says thank you for the power up. But I'm going to use this power to wake up the universal tree. That comes off a lot more respectable, and it actually puts Toa in a better light. So that was actually pretty good, and it was, a, it was a pretty good choice for them to go that route because, again, if it wasn't for Toa, few wouldn't have come this far. But this Toa doesn't come off as a lapdog. She actually comes off more respectable because she wants to help out few, her created son, rather than few just like cast her off as trash in the anime. Only for Toa to come back and be literally a lapdog. So that was actually a pretty good cool direction for them to go in. I'll say the, the way they introduced like Ribeiro and Demigra returning to this arc a long time Shamel was really, really good. I want to touch on this because it looks, again, this goes back to what I said. The way they handled Toa is on a different level than the enemy of handled Toa. Like, not to say there weren't good moments, but I feel like it's night and day with how they highlight Toa. Toa restrained Vegito in the anime at all. Toa was just there. She did absolutely nothing until she clashed with Ribeiro. That was actually good. The way the manga handled Toa, not just in this arc, but the Dark Demon Realm mission, she restrained the Time Patrol 
I explained this in the last video that I made about chapter 4. I'm going to expand upon this more because it's clear as day. She had the time patrol pinned down, locked up, crucified almost with the, with the energy in the time chasm that she created. She didn't try, she didn't stay stick around. She went to, along with Mira to help out Few. Super Saiyan 4 Goku did not bust out of there like he did in the anime. Trashed all over Toa to have it being saved by Mira. That didn't happen in the manga, and I actually, I actually appreciated that more because if you want to take these characters seriously, you have to showcase they can take care of themselves when in a situation. But here, the type of troll couldn't even escape. You saw them collapsing, and if it wasn't for Shamel, Ribeiro, and Demigra, they probably would have ended up dead. And Ribeiro in the part two was by far the best part of the, the Dark Demon Ram Machine in that second sequence. It's leading to something, and you can't take your eyes off it for whatever for whatever reason it is. So I love that and I love the fact that these two are coming to blows now, which is why I think it's a good idea that they decided not to shoehorn this fight in this chapter. They're giving it time to breathe. This arc obviously has already been written, it's already been translated, so I can't say I hope they extend this fight for the entire chapter. I know this fight's already been completed. I just don't know how it's gonna end up. They can extend it a little bit more than what they did in the anime. Not too much. You need that. We want it to be given more later down the road. I feel like the anime did that, but it was too short. It was too short-lived. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Obviously, Brawly intercepts. I think it, it's a completely different the way that he does it in the anime. In the anime, it's legendary Super Saiyan version of Brawly. Then he goes into Limit Break. Now, we see Brawly. He's, it, he's in normal Super Saiyan 4. And he's blocking Limit Break Vegito. So it looks like we're going to get Super Saiyan 4, Broly versus Super Saiyan 4, Vegito. And spoiler warnings, but we know also unlocks Limit Break. This chapter was awesome. Definitely, definitely the best chapter of this arc thus far. So let me know what you guys think down below. I cannot wait to see Toa vs. Ribeiro. Hopefully expanded upon in the manga. It was my favourite episode in the anime. It still is. But that's going to do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like the review if you did it. Thumbs up. I appreciate that. that. Subscribe channel for more Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Leave your comments down below. Thank you for all your continued support. Catch you guys later. Thanks guys. Bye.